Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'll be sharing with you guys this new technique on how to turn a normal walk cycle into a double bounce walk cycle. And keep this in mind, like this is not a video to teach you how to create a walk cycle from scratch, but to convert from an existing walk cycle into a double bounce happy walk cycle. So if you are not too sure how to create a simple walk cycle, you can go to my channel and go to this video link up here. And then there will be a lot of videos right here that shows you how to create a normal walk cycle, a female style walk cycle, run cycle, and so on. So you can learn all like the basic techniques from here. And then before we start looking into how to turn this into a double bounce walk cycle, this is the most important picture that you should be looking at. So for a normal walk cycle, you can see that it has this uh, different pose, starting from contact, down, pass pose, up, contact, down, pass pose, up, contact. Okay, so a total of about 25 frames. So let's have a look at this. So right now, our cycle is having a total of 33 frames for the whole thing, for two steps. Okay, because I purposely make it slower. Originally, if we follow 25 frames, it will be a little bit faster. Okay, so let's have a play, quick play, and have a look. All right, so she is walking smoothly, and everything seems good and great. Everything is uh, rotating like correctly with all the overlapping stuff, and then this, the squash and stretch is being applied to the body as well. Okay, to turn this into a double bounce walk cycle, We have to, so instead of going up on the 10th, all right, we need to make it down. So I'm just gonna indicate right here, this. Turn all the ups into down. I'm using a mouse to write, so it is a little bit ugly on the writings. All right, cool, okay. So if you're not, you know, like you can't connect with 33 frames or 25 frames, so probably let's bring this down back to 25 frames. Okay, so let me pull it longer. All right, and I should delete this too. Let's do it down to 25. Right click, snap, and put it back to 25. Okay, should be good to go. All right. So, so now we have synchronized this 25 with that 25. Okay. So at number 10, it should be down instead of an up. So which refers to this. Okay, so if we go into the curve editor, Windows Animation, Graph Editor, and look for Translate Y. So you can see that this is going up and then it follows the way. Actually, for this, um, from here, yeah, it's it's going up. So I did not make it down right here, but doesn't matter. We have to follow this, so it has to be down, and number ten has to be down as well. So let's go to here. So it doesn't matter, like if you are having an up on the fourth, or you're having it down on the fourth. If it's it's a down on the fourth, you don't have to change that. 
we just have to change number 10. And then if it's going up in the fourth, we can make that down as well. So make sure auto key is being turned on. Now let's go with the down right here. Let's have a look at that. So yes, indeed, like we make it the down. And let's select all and click F. Okay, that's good. And we can copy this. Right click, copy, number 10. Right click and paste that. So it will be like down, up, down, up. Okay, down again, number 16, paste, 19, 22, so make sure it is 22, down, again, right here. Okay, let's put this back to 25, so it will be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, let's play. Okay, so apart from this, what we can further do to make that DAO seems to be having more impact is changing this curve instead of ease out right here. We make a sharp linear. Okay, so we select that. We can actually select all of this down part and make it like this. Okay. And we can even go with breaking tangents so that we can change this individually without affecting the other side of it. So sometimes I like to make it more extreme to get the, the, the full impact of that. Okay, not too much. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, so you can really feel that impact dot whenever it goes down. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, so that's great. And then let's uh, drag it back to the, uh, 33 frames in total for the cycle so that the whole thing will, will feel smoother. Okay, because right now running at 25 frames for the cycle, it's it is still actually a bit quite fast. So I always like to do it at 33. So let's select all of that controller and with all the keys selected by holding down shift key and middle mouse click to drag to select all and drag the the back arrow, back end arrow to 33 frames and roughly reaching there. And we have to make sure we snap so that it all falls on the round number. Now let's put it back to 33 and we should be good to go. Okay, let's turn off that uh, nerves curve. Okay, ta-da, it's easy. Just a few tweaks and changes that you can turn this normal cycle into something that he, he or she looks really happy and when she walks to give it a bit of style for your walk cycle. After changing to this 33 frames, it was slow and then it looks better, but I feel like that dot might be a little bit too strong. Okay, so I'm going to show you like some ways to kind of tweak and change around to have a bit of different look uh, for this because it, it really depends on people. Certain people likes to have a strong impact, but after you change it, you feel like, okay, the impact is a little bit too strong. You wanted to change it back to smoother versions. Like this is what you can do. Okay, so let's uh, stop it for a while and go back to here, turn on the controller and get back to here. So we're, so far we are only changing this metal circle. We did, we did not touch any others. Okay, translate Y. Select all, click F to kind of uh, refocus and zoom everything back in. We can we can do this as well. Okay, so the down is strong, 
the app it's kind of easy in we can play with different styles and let's see how our double bounce box cycle will looks like okay a bit of changes it won't feel that much of a change so let's play and have a look okay it feels smoother you can you can really see that okay so there's one more ways to play with this just like that middle circle again go back to translate Y and this time I'm gonna free the tangent weight so uh, weight to tangents then I'm gonna so whenever you click on this click weight to tangents it will allows you to pull the handle and tweak it so you can select all of that okay so let's put push it back select this hold shift key select that hold shift key select that shift key shift select this select all the handles and pull it all together at once Okay, let's have a look at that. Okay, that's a little bit too much. Let's pull it back. Okay, and then what about going a little higher? And let's look at that. Okay, so this is pushing to the limits. Okay, let me show you the curve while I'm pushing. You can make it slightly higher by using the tip, the tip toe to stand on the ground. Okay, making that like completely straight and let's have a look at that so it's completely under your hand how you want to play with it so as long as you get the basics concept correct and you can do whatever you want so you can tweak the ups downs and then you can tweak the downs ups and you can adjust the ease in and ease out to make it more of the style that you wanted with your character okay so that's all from my side for today and thank you so much for looking through this tutorial and then if you like my contents please feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification button and the, the like button as well so that you won't miss any new content in the future and again thanks and I'll see you in the next video